Hey guys, I'm Brian. Recently, a lot of my students have come up to me and said, hey Brian, I want to learn how to do formation flying. Is that something that you could possibly teach me? Now, when I say students, I teach air hockey to young children without electricity. It's kind of weird. We have to use a ball and it's, uh, it's just complicated. When you talk about formation flying, a lot of people will bring up this book, The Far Aim. Now, this is a great book and it has lots of information about the rules and regulation and it discusses formation flight. But what's one thing that we know with 100% certainty that's right. Reading causes eye strain. And the last pilot I want to pair up with mid-flight is somebody with questionable vision. It's really not that difficult, and there's two ways to kick off a formation flight. The first method is the method I call planning ahead. So for this method, what you want to do is go to your airport, go to the FBO, and find another pilot. And what you want to do is ask them, hey, how about we make it a flight of two? They're always going to say yes. This next step is critical for safety reasons. You and that pilot need to walk out of an earshot of anybody else, go to the ramp. What you wanna do is have a three to five minute conversation with that pilot about any topic at all, but the key here is while you're talking, you're doing this with your hands. You wanna do your hands like this, you wanna make sure you look down your hands. Uh, the right hand is always in back, I think, unless you're left-handed. Lefties, do you do the left hand in back? I feel like it's gotta be the, do I have P factor? Uh, in my arms. I, I don't know. This is a super critical step because after the flight's over, when the NTSB comes to interview people, eyewitnesses will say, it looks like they were planning it thoroughly. Then your family gets the insurance money. The second method is a little simpler and it's the one that I prefer. I call this method unsolicited flight of two. What you want to do now is take out your iPad and open up for flight. You want to try to find an airplane that's sort of going the direction that you're planning on heading and you just tap the airplane. Now here you can see their airspeed. Pick an airplane that has somewhat compatible airspeed with you and then I want you to take off like you normally would heading in the direction of that plane that you just selected. All right, now you want to turn off your transponder. Most of these small planes now have traffic alerts on board and you don't want to pair up with a guy who's on edge because he just got a traffic alert that he's got an aircraft at the same altitude at six o'clock. That guy's not in a good mental state for his new flight of two. Now, one really smart thing you can do now that you're in formation is you ease up and take the position slightly in front and to the left of the other aircraft. What this does is make it so that you're not constantly focused on staring at the other plane and doing all the adjustments. Now, the onus is on him to maintain separation. He's going to adjust the power and the heading and everything so it keeps you calm. All you got to do is fly where you're going, and now you're not getting all stressed out before the big air hockey ball game. So you've stuck around this far, which means we've officially completed my formation training course. And what I want to do is take you on an actual formation flight I did with a handful of students recently. So uh, let's watch this video and then stick around at the end for outtakes. And also I'm going to give you a link at the end so you can print out a certificate showing that you've completed my formation training course. All right, let's watch the formation video. Hey guys, made it over here to the airport and my phone goes off. Take two. Hey guys, made it over here to the airport. Brian is frantically. That was a really intro, Eric. <laughs> right. How's it going, dude? What are we doing? We're uh, detailing an airplane. Oh, really? Okay. Yes. <laughs> Why? For a photo shoot. Oh, man, that's that cool. That should have been done. Or, but they, he's, no, it's looking good. <laughs> Brian's already pre flighted it, which means he, he has not done no, it. That's the pre flight. You just rub it. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's good. No, no, Brian, you sure a set tire. What, what is a set tire? Um, it keeps me out of trouble in theory. This is a line of disclaimer where I've come up with to keep myself, so no matter what, I, I can say anything I want about anything. As long as I'm wearing this shirt, uh, fair use applies, so I can't get in trouble. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. <laughs> He's got shirts for sale now, so make sure you go on there yeah, and pay me money. Clean, clean, give him money because he needs it. We need gas for the... Uh, this thing, like, we're flying on fumes today because I can't afford fuel. Like, I would probably... Like I was telling Eric, it's going to be a, a crash, but it's going to be beautiful. So we're going to have good footage of it, but uh, no gas. I can't afford it. And of course, we're going to GoPro at both airplanes. So anything that goes wrong, it'll be in HD. So one of the things that I wanted to do recently in my airplane was go up with somebody in formation and see if I could get some aerial photos of my Grumman. What I did was I called my friend Eric Johnston. You might be familiar with his YouTube channel. It's Eric Johnston on YouTube, and he does a lot of aircraft walk-around videos. He interviews veterans and does a lot of cool stuff. And so I called him up and told him, I said, I want to get some, some footage and some photos uh, of my plane. Uh, he, he explained to me how much it was going to cost, and I said, I, I don't want to pay you. We're friends. This should be free. Uh, well, uh, Eric said, 
yourself and hung up the phone. I was very, very surprised by that actually. No, that's not what happened. We got everything sorted out and we decided we were gonna go do this two ship formation around the North Dallas area. No, no, you're flying. I'm just, I'm the talent. I'm just here to look pretty. No, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. You do whatever you need to do to keep us alive. I didn't notice stuff. you really wore sandals today. I always wear sandals when I fly. I Who cares? Wore... If you have a fire, well, no, you he, don't, he normally wears heels. Oh. oh sh <laughs> <laughs> so what are we doing today, guys? What are we doing? We're watching you put cameras on a plane. Yeah. Well, I'm already done Excited. with that. And we're going to do an air to air shoot with Brian's uh, traveler. So the plan is we're... Tentatively going to take off from uh, Hicks Airfield, right where we are right we now. We are going to take off from Hicks Airfield. Yeah, we are going to take off. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Brian's just got to be here, doesn't he? And uh, <laughs> we're going to take off out of here, Hicks. Hicks. Guaranteed. We're going to try to go over to uh, Texas Motor Speedway, maybe. We're just waiting on the, the light at this point. And then we'll go over to, what lake Eagle is that? Mountain. Eagle Mountain Lake. Yeah. We'll go over there. And, uh, and uh, Brian, before these guys showed up, Brian asked me how low do we like to do over the water? I said about 500 and, and he thought that was too high, so we may need to go lower. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be fun to read about this whole adventure on the NTSB report in a couple of years. <laughs> so, thanks for coming along. And as usual, unsubscribe yeah, from yeah, his yeah, channel, yeah. subscribe to mine, hit the bell and all that good stuff. All right, I got a red dot. It's counting, that means it's recording, right? Uh, yeah, I would think so. All right, Eric, um, I think this is working. Okay. I'm gonna go do the same thing. Video. All right, all right, so 12305 is here. Yep. 2345 will be him, and then 3515 uh, and it's Romeo. That airplane's ugly. <laughs> I just want to mess with him. Heck yeah. He needs to be messed with. He need to run up. Probably should since there's uh, cameras rolling, but usually no. Hicks traffic, Romeo 97, Juliet Bravo is departing runway 14 to be a downwind departure to the north. Hicks traffic. Woo, baby. Let's go. You feel that speed? I do. Yeah, it's like a Honda Civic. Or a Honda Spree. Yeah, it is. <laughs> All right, let's go fly. Do it. We're on. 2257, can you hear us, Gary? That's 2275. 2257. There you go. 2257, Gary, you got us? Oh, better now, thank you. Uh, dumbass put us on 2275, not my fault at all. <laughs> <laughs> I told him, I go, this is going to be unlike anything you've ever done, man. Yeah, you got to constantly be working the throttle. You just can't, you, and right here is where it's really hard to see because you're looking right into the dank sun. Yeah. This is outside my comfort zone. I wouldn't do this without someone first in doing this. This is, uh, I love it, but I'm not comfortable. It's, it's I hear you. It's nerve-wracking. I mean, I trust Kerry that he's not going to make a sudden movement. He's trying to fly as smooth as he possibly can in yeah. a constant rate turn. I never turned this on. Um, but as close as we are, I'm well aware of how... Tiny mistake. 
Yeah, that's why he doesn't, he's not gonna make any big moves. That's why it's nice when, if it's smooth, it makes it a lot easier to do this. I just pick a spot on his airplane and I just I just watch that spot. Like right now I'm looking at his channel and I can see Marvin. I can see his 430 in there. Yeah, I see it. Uh, so I'm just trying to keep it down that lower corner of his uh, of the open of the open window. Yeah, I want to get behind you. Right here. There we go. All right, so you've completed the course. What I want you to do is go to my website, worldsgreatestpilot.com, and I want you to click on the link that says, print my formation flying certificate. Now, all you need to do is print that out, keep it in your airplane, and you're good to go anytime, anywhere, any place. Thank you very much. I also want to thank my new Patreon supporters, uh, Brian Smith, who spells his name wrong, but I'm going to forgive him for that, and Ryan LaPointe, who is actually in a video I made about three years ago. Ryan LaPointe. This is a great guy I met at my fly-in. Ryan is the John Belushi of aviation. I don't know if I say that because of the way he looks or just the cocaine. Uh, so Ryan. <laughs> All right. So thanks for supporting the channel. Thank you guys for liking, subscribing, sharing. Thanks Gold Seal for sponsoring the videos. Uh, you guys fly smart and I'll catch you in the next one. Got to go do some formation flying with my friend Eric. We'll keep trying. I told Eric, I can't do it. I want someone who's, um, I told Eric, I said, I'm not going to fly the plane. I need somebody who knows how to do this and who does this professionally is not the right word. I need to start writing stuff down before I say it. Cause I'm just staring at a camera and I'm going to run out of film is go up and do some formation file. Let's go to the flight and you can kind of see how we did this and uh, listen to us chatter on the, uh, Cockpit. Chatter on the cockpit. We're going to chatter on the cockpit. That's not a thing. Some formation work um, so that I could get some air to air for this light is going to mess up hand gestures. Brian, what do we do? What do we do? We raise the light above our hands. That's what we do. And that's what this thing is good for. Turner, you're a genius. Now there's no light. There we go. I want to be a real video guy, and this is what you got to think about. Muffy corn. All right. And he interviews veterans and does a lot of other cool things. And then my dog starts barking, and it's messing up everything. If you want to be a YouTuber, you have to buy a house that doesn't have windows. We got the whole gang here, and uh, it was Brian's second formation, right? I do, I, no, I do it all the time. This was a... This, oh. So, oh. He flies with the Blue Angels on Tuesday. Usually I fly yeah. a lot closer and tighter than this, but I don't That's right. This guy. After, ever yeah. since you left the Thunderbirds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, was sweating, I was sweating. It was, it was IEP. It was, you can yeah. see the stain. I mean, look. I like, I especially liked how you were, uh, 
You were able to help hold the book up and hold on to it. I know. Like, <laughs> I showed that book. I was, like, was, like, I was too. I was clicking awesome away. <laughs> I was. I was waiting for it, and it didn't happen. I was like, crap. Were you able to get the title? Do you think? I think so. Okay. My camera's not too good, but you know. yeah. So. <laughs> you should whole thing with your cell phone. Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 fun. Fun. Well, thanks a lot, guys. We, uh, hey, yeah. Brian, I really, really appreciate it. Really, really awesome. Welcome. That was fun. Welcome. So, I'm we guess we got a lot of good video. A lot of sleep. Oh, you want to see some of it? Sure. Tomorrow. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Click this link to see the most recent video upload. Click this link to see a video that YouTube thinks you might like. Click this link to subscribe to my channel.